Okay, so I was just scrolling around Twitch today and I saw a couple of people playing this game called Escape Simulator. I genuinely, I don't know anything about it. Like, I, I really don't know. I think we might even play like a tutorial at the beginning here because I, I really don't know. I mean, the most I could, I can conclude from the title of the game is that we're, we're gonna be escaping, but I, I'm not gonna be doing it alone. I actually am gonna be joined by the lovely, the one, the only Miss Cricket. So hopefully we can we can use a little teamwork and escape. For those of you guys who don't know, Cricket is is Rachel. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to escape? No. All right. Check this out, guys. Escape Simulator. Here I am. I didn't customize her, but I'm not going to because I think she's perfect just the way she is. You got a girl? Yeah. Why? Do you have a guy? Yes. Don't change him. On my end here, Miss Cricket, I know you can't see it, but it says tutorial. And I'm wondering, should we do the tutorial since we both have no idea like how to play this game? We don't know anything about it. Yeah. Let's try it. Here we go. Are you in here? Room. Wait, what? Yeah. Where are you? Oh, oh there you are. Hey, nice, nice look. I could say the same thing about your look. Okay, so we've got to escape this baby room. It's, oh, it's snowing outside. I picked up a blue car and I think there's a key inside of it. So I'm trying to get the key out to, out of it, but I don't know. Stop, me when we watched oh. someone playing this earlier and they found the key in the blue car. <laughs> Stop, I didn't associate that at all. You just put it down immediately when I called you out. No, I turned look, around. I, no, but I mean, I need a key to open it, girl. So I'm looking for the key, but you're standing in my way. <laughs> okay, I'll move on. <laughs> we watched someone Dude. play for like three minutes and they found the key inside this car. So I know it's in here. Oh, I got it. Wait, how do I open it? You can it? see, you can see the key from, from far away. That's the first thing I noticed. How do we get, how do we open it up? Oh, we need we a need key to put in the top. key, girl. <laughs> okay, find the other key. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna open some shit up. <laughs> I'm gonna crouch down. I wanna see what you look like when you're crouched. Oh. How whoa. do I look? Do I look good? <laughs> you look. Why are you crouched like that? <laughs> your, your crotch is out, but it's just a big gaping hole. What about me? <laughs> I don't know. You're really creeping me like out. This is jump scare. <laughs> Maybe it's under this pillow. Look, <gasps> what is that? Oh, uh, you, how'd you know? I don't know. <laughs> you got it. Where is the car? All right, I have it in my inventory, so I'm gonna throw <laughs> it like a in. little gremlin, like crawling around and throwing things at me. <laughs> you look like that too, here. Take that. I can't put anything in my inventory. It doesn't okay. work. I'll do it, but knowing that you found everything. You literally, okay. you literally did everything for this round. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna look at this and then we're gonna drag the key and put it in the hole. All the door is opened and I got the key. I'm going to the door and I'm putting it in and we won. Oh, we're dancing, Yay. we're dancing. Oh. Wait, we look so good mm -hmm. together. Yeah, we do. Oh, I get it. Oh my God, get it. Yes. All right, let's do the next one. It's Labyrinth of Egypt. Are you ready for the first chamber? All right, ooh, giving Egypt. I can't see it yet. Oh, <laughs> all right, our timer has Very started. Cool. We've only got 15 minutes. I'm gonna start looking around. Let's see, let's see. Okay, awesome. Flask, oh, you wanna get drunk? Egyptology. Oh, there's something maybe important in here. In the book? Yeah, it's giving the Egyptian alphabet. I have a suitcase that I'm about to open up. Ooh, what's in here? What is this? There's an Egyptology 101. Wait, did you just open this? No, but that's the book oh. that I did have. It says, oh, mine's Egyptology 102. Oh, you're in another level. This is, this seems a little advanced. Yeah, this is... This is a lot. I'm trying to see like, oh, here's some hieroglyph, glyphics, hieroglyphics. So maybe we have to translate them. Oh, I need a fucking pen and paper or something. Like what? Oh, with the Egyptology book? Yeah. Let me know like what symbols you're seeing like top to bottom. Symbols? What are you? Yeah, hieroglyphs. See here in front of you? Do you see my magnifying glass? <laughs> yes. Okay, wait, look at this, look at this. See this here? 
Yeah. Okay, read from the top to the bottom what, like, you're seeing. I'm going to open my Egyptology book. So, bird is at the top. Okay, okay. I've All got right, A. I got I've got A. Okay, bird. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like an arrow coming out of a straight line. <laughs> Um, I am not seeing that in the book. I'm <laughs> also, I'm noticing there's a couple different birds in the book. That The first one up there is looking like the bird symbol for, for UVW, like cool. Oh, okay. Do you have this in yours, the numerals? No. <laughs> My book is numbers. Let's exit because I think the numbers can give us the code to this right here, this like slot machine. Oh, so here. true. Okay. Okay, these are all not numbers because the numbers are like lines and like squigglies. So okay. is that anywhere around? Um, oh. Let me look for lines and squigglies. Let's see. No, I don't see any lines. Maybe under this. There's a this, lot of. Like, what's on top of this box that's covered in sand? Yeah, let's let's crouch down and look at it. Oh, maybe use your magnifying oh, glass. There's a, there's a keyhole. Where on what? On this. And oh, see I if you're you tool. can see through the sand. I have this <gasps> tool. Oh wait. Let me try this. Yeah. Does it work? I also have binoculars. What wait, wait, wait. I have this. How do I dig that up? What do you Hold have? on, I have this. Here, here. Oh, perfect. Hold. Give me that. Hold left mouse button to use. Yeah, that's oh, what okay. it said, but I don't have a left mouse button. Oh, I think it's working. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, oh wait, those, is that it? Those are numbers, they're numbers. Okay, ready? Okay. Tell me what you see, I'll tell you what it is. Okay, the first thing I see is like a triangle with a, a big stick coming out of the top of it with a Pac-Man on top. A thousand. A thousand. I, I seriously need a pen and paper. Here, let me get my phone out. I'll write in my notes. The next symbol I see is like three lines on top of a squiggly. Re okay, so the squigglies are their own. Okay, one line is one. Like one slant is one. Two lines is two. Three lines is three. Okay. Two on top of another two is four. Okay. When they're squigglies, those are, what's it called? Like nom denominations. Is that the word? They're like 10. Um, okay. Tens. Oh, that, so I... like, would this be here? Close your book for a second and look at this. Would this be like 30 then? Yeah, so you combine them. So it'd be 30. Or is it 300? Where, where you're crouching? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> the symbol that's like the N shape, like just a one hump, that's yeah. 10. That's 10. Okay. And then the squiggly, like the actual squiggle that's like a spiral is 100. Okay, so when the three lines are over the, the 100, so would that make it 300 then? No. <laughs> if the three, <laughs> if the th lines are over the squiggle, I think you just add them. Okay, so it'd be 103. It says when using more than one kind of symbol, count each symbol and multiply it with its value and then sum it all up. Huh? <laughs> Literally, huh? How much time do we have left? Seven minutes. Okay, so, <laughs> so if a square, but if the lines on top, it looks like it's also like the same thing because they have another example which is where it's on top of it and they add it. Yeah, here's the thing. Wait, before we keep going, there's only four four numbers we can put in, and it only goes up to nine. It's one through nine. So what it? Maybe it's the total number of all of this together. Oh, so true. Okay, so it would be like 3,000 something. So I think it starts with, I think it's 3,000. Like I think the first one might be three. You know what I mean? Because there's, Easy. there's three 1,000 symbols. And then these ones- There's four 100s. Okay, four 100s. And then- There's 3,400. And then the humps you said were tens, right? Or the arcs? Yeah. So 3,426, okay. should we just try that? 3,426. Oh, there's another, okay, yeah. 426, <gasps> it worked! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> what a rush. <gasps> what do we do with this? Okay, do you see any keyholes? Oh, oh the, chest, the chest, the chest. Duh. Oh, oh, oh I just shit. broke something. <gasps> oh wait, oh. I think maybe you were supposed to break it. Oh, is this pure, pure, Pyramidian part? I've got one as well. What is there any more pyramidian parts in here? 
Where did the pyramid oh, there go? actually oh, here. is. Oh, here, okay. Oh, so we've definitely got to construct a pyramid out of the parts. So we have three total. I think we need four total. Oh, look, 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 I put one down. Oh, look. <gasps> what, what, what? Did they join together? Yes. Is that all you needed? <gasps> no, we just need one more. We need one more piece. Oh my God, okay. Okay, we've only got three minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Don't let's see. panic. Here, I'm gonna start throwing vases around and see if any parts fall out. Okay. <laughs> it's actually working. Sounds good. Well, I have a binoculars and a magnifying glass. Like, I feel like that's for some reason, you know? So true. Okay, binoculars. Oh, wait, let me throw this flask and see if anything comes out. No. Like, what's this question mark? Oh, look, something just came out of there. Oh, you just asked for a clue, I think. Oh, look, it says use the magnifying glass on the Sphinx. Oh, oh. Wait, do you have the Sphinx? Yeah, here, look at it. Okay, okay, here we go. And then... Two minutes. Oh, shit. Hello, um... Oh, this thing's got a dumpy. Okay, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Looking at... Wait, why can't I hold- I don't know how to use the magnifying glass. I don't know how to use it either. I keep holding it up to the Sphinx yes, and it's not- Yes, that's- I know. It's not doing anything. Oh, someone said check the book. That's a good idea. Maybe the symbol on it has something to do with something? Oh, it does. Yeah. It means darkness. Okay. Oh, maybe we what? have to, um, is there any- Oh, it's definitely not dark in here. Damn, we've only got a minute. Here, I got another clue. What does it say? It says, "Look in your book at the look in your book at the at the at the." You did, you did it already. Damn it! <laughs> Get another one. Hurry. I don't know. Is is it a clue machine? Yeah, I think it's all out of clues. We've only got a minute left. Yeah. Um. Damn. Chat. Hurry. Chat. Someone just tell us what to do. We've only got thirty seconds. Put water in the flask. I just I just opened this. I just opened this. Oh, you did. Yeah, but what came out of it? Oh, that's darkness. It's darkness. Get in there. Put your head in there. in there. Oh, how? I don't know how. I don't know how. Get in there. <laughs> oh, binoculars? Do I look in? Oh, let me use my magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's in there. The, the glass pyramid. Here, I'm going to stick my hand in there. Oh, did you just get that out of there? No. Oh, wait, we're out of time. Damn. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait, why is it what still happens? going? Oh, I, I should have looked at the chat. My whole chat's saying put this the Sphinx in there. <gasps> oh! Look! Oh my god. It changed. And now... How did we not think of that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone in my chat said the time is for the trophy. So we can still keep playing. We just will not get uh, a trophy, I guess. Whatever. Now the Sphinx has like three squiggly lines on it. I'm checking my Egyptology book. Water, it says. <laughs> it says water. And someone in the water, chat- there's Water, there's water. Put it in this water fountain right here. Yeah, someone in the chat earlier when I said to just tell us what to do, they told me to fill this up with water. So let's see. <laughs> is it working? <laughs> Oh, do we put the Sphinx in water? Here, I'm gonna do put it. Put the Sphinx in Oh, look, I got it. I got it, I got it. It's filled, it, wh where is it? Where, what'd you get? I got the final pyramid piece. The Amazing. Pyramidian part. And look, this just came out, door key. And then we put it, do we put it in any door? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my God, it's still going. No, what's this now? <laughs> oh no, what's maze? this? Oh, we've got to solve the maze to figure out what the code is. Okay, enter from the left side and- I can't see, your big donkey's in the way. Oh, sorry. I thought it was gonna be over, please. I can't believe it. Who can who can beat this in 15 minutes? I think I got it. I think so too. Did you get lion, triangle, like outline thing, rectangle, and then like cactus? Like broke up, I don't know why. Wait, <laughs> your audio just glitched so bad. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Lion, this thingy, rectangle. Do you guys know that I'm 0.1% Egyptian? That is true. She is 0.1% Egyptian. Oh, I got another key. All right, which door should we do this time? <laughs> do the one behind us. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Move your big ass arm out of my way. Now your giant purple is my full view. Uh, well, your audio glitched, so I'm just gonna move even closer because I don't know what you said. No, I said your big purple hands in the way. Your big fat ass is in the way now. All right, what are we, what are we supposed to do for this one? I don't know. Would we you... have to figure get to the middle, so. Okay. You start on the right side, I'll start on the left side. All right, I'm gonna start with Beetle, okay? I think it's the Bumblebee. <laughs> okay, so wait, there's three options here though. And none of them are B. Okay, I think it's time for my Egyptology book. <laughs> Oh, I'm right. Oh, wait. So look, in my Egyptology book, it says that B equals BJT. And then if I go over to the Egyptian alphabet, BJT is foot, snake, and half circle. So let's try foot, snake, half circle. Foot, snake, half circle. <gasps> Woo! We did it. Okay, is this the final key? Are we getting out of here? I hope so. Me too. Come on, open up. <gasps> we did it! Yes. yes! Oh my god, it's time for a dance party. Yes. Stop. W's, no L's. No L's in the chat, all W's. Come on, Team W, no L. No L. We never take an L, only W's. Let's do another one. Hee hee hee, next episode. Okay, let's try and do it under 15 minutes. Go! We've got shovel, scroll. Ooh, there's. Oh, I found a key already. And I see an interesting picture of two. People sitting and one person standing. It says to drag this thing, but I, you might have to do it. Oh, wait. Drag which thing? This thing right here? Drag this where? Yeah, this thing I'm dragging around. Hmm. Oh, it's supposed to go here on the circle? Oh, maybe. Good job. Oh, wait, here's one here too. Here, I'll put this one over. Is it supposed to go there or what? Maybe we have to put it in a certain order because look, it's this one has a lungs in it. This one has a stomach. And this oh. one has, honestly, I don't know what the hell that is. Is that a liver? If you click it, it says it says it has a key. So. Oh, I found a key. So, so which one says it has a key? They all do, like hover over them and they, it says key next to it. It does? Wait, why don't I see that? Mm, oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Like next to the jar, it says jar key. Yeah, not everything says that. Oh, someone in my chat says the key means that it's an important clue. Oh. Oh, here, let's try this actual key that I picked up on this box and see if it opens it. Oh, it did. Okay. Nice. Oh, I found a scroll. Oh, wow. I found something that I think I have an idea of what we do here. I found a baboon headed lid. And if you look, one of these things has a lid on it already. So I think we have to put this baboon headed lid on these things, but we'll have to figure out which one it goes on first somehow. Okay. And then I found a chalice. What's this? Oh, ooh, I don't know if I should be doing this. I don't know what this is. Whoa, what is that? Oh, do these go over there? Look, I have these. What is that? They're like balls. Oh, you know, I have some balls too, and they have markings on them. They have one, yeah. two, and five. This is t this is a toughie. I think we'll definitely put them in the, the, the scale, but I just don't know, like... Oh, do we have to balance the scale? Ligma balls? What? <laughs> oh, wait, I found some stuff in the trash. Vaz, I'm gonna throw it and see if anything comes out. Nope, hopefully we What's didn't need that? that. Ooh, wait, I wanna try something my chat just suggested. Oh, you have the crowbar? Try opening this sarcophagus with your okay. crowbar. Oh, wait, mm. look at this. What? These two bitches up here, they're holding like these patterns. And down mm -hmm. here by this mummy, she has a pattern that needs to be filled out. Let me oh. see if I can mimic it. Let's see, it would be like this. I did it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I opened it. <gasps> oh, whoa, is there anything in here? There's a beetle in there. Oh, I got it, I got it. <gasps> oh. oh, we just Did opened two. Yeah, and I opened this one down here and I got a heart. Did you see the bugs? Oh no, what? Thank God you would have freaked out. Bugs like flew out of there. Ew. Oh, there is some sort of code up here. What's this note in this guy's hand? Oh wait, oh, I found something really important. I found something really important. Okay. okay. I'm gonna read you an 
an ancient artifact I just found. I have stumbled upon these mummification jars. As I understand, they represent four sons of Horus. The lungs were guarded by Happy, the baboon-headed god representing the north. That must mean the baboon head that I got goes on the lung jar. Okay. The jackal-headed god representing the east. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, I don't know guarded the stomach. This mm -hmm. person, I don't know how to pronounce it. The human-headed god represented the south, guarded the liver, and then the intestines are guarded by the bird, which is already done for us. So here, I'm gonna oh, okay. put our baboon on the, the lungs. I think we have to do this puzzle over here, and then this puzzle over here, and maybe it'll unlock the two other heads that we have to put on. Maybe these have to do with the pictures. Oh, our scrolls. Yeah. So true, okay. Scrolls. Let me look inside I my scroll. Know. Wait, put the heart in the hand symbol for, oh wait, hold on, what the hell are you talking about? Where's the heart? Put the heart in the, oh, over here? Got a question. Oh. Oh, it says to weigh the balls. Every time I get a hint, it tells me something we already did. Oh, so we put the numbered balls in the right side and the mm -hmm. symboled ball balls in the left side, okay. So here, let's move these around. Someone's saying do them individually for the puzzles. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just broke. I'm gonna put the ones with the arrows pointing at it. Oh, what? Oh. What? Oh my God, I feel so stupid. <laughs> Tell me. Not every ball has like an arrow pointing towards the weight. So there's only certain balls that are supposed to go in. I thought that was a stylistic choice. I was like, you know what? That's. That's a cute little stylistic drawing there. But no, we've only yeah. got to put the the red bird on the left side, and then on the right side, we have to put the one ball and the five ball. This is the bird and stays in. Okay. Oh. Did it work? Yep, and what do we do? Nothing fucking happened. <laughs> the bird is hard. six. What? Oh. Oh my God. I'm feeling so dumb. Okay, I, I get it now. Oh, she got another hint. <laughs> Wait, let me tell you what I figured out. We weigh each symbol. So for example, uh, we put the bird in and it weighs six, right? Yeah. So then we go over here and it says bird and then we're gonna do, is that six? No, wait, what? This is six. We'll try the, I'm doing the snake next, okay? Oh, try the two ball. Let's see, I think it might be three. Oh my God. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Oh Why is it keep falling through here? Let me I don't know. I think it's just glitching. It's probably because you're using my slow ass laptop that literally takes off every time I use it. I'm actually so confused for this. So then it's four, but how do we do four when we've only got a one ball, a two ball, and a five ball? Oh, we're just supposed to deduce that it's four from that? Really? Yeah, wow, what the f They actually think we're that smart to figure that out. All right, I'm gonna do the squiggle now. All right, the squiggle is two, the squiggle is two. All right, now let's try pulling this lever and see if we got it right. <gasps> Ooh, we we got did it! Right. Okay, the jackal. Do we remember which one the jackal goes on? Maybe it was the stomach. It was the stomach, you were right. This one goes here. Okay, so the last one we need is the li Is this a liver? Was I right about that? Yeah, it is a liver. Okay, so the last one goes on the liver. Wow, we're really big brained. Yeah. All right, this is our last little thing we've got to do is this thing over here. Oh, someone in the chat said something that is a good tip. They said symbols in the coffins, question mark, which is a good idea. We've got a beetle, a lion, and feathers. So I don't know, let's try pressing. Beetle, lion, and feathers. Oh, it worked. Oh, we got it. And right, we put it here. Oh, and we got the feather. Oh, I'll go put it in his hand. Take this. Oh! Whoa. Oh! That was amazing. Oh! So no trophy, but we did get a, a medal. Oh, we did? Let's go. Cool. Woo! Let's do one more. Should we do like a different like atmosphere? Should we leave Egypt and do something else? Okay, let's do mansion. Ooh, mansion. All right, let's 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 look around. I've got a book. Oh my God, I'm not reading all that, but 
Okay. Okay, this says, do you know the time? Hmm, is there a clock in here? Wait, I think I see a key. IQ. I do, I see a key. You need a combination. Okay, so we need a combination. Do you see anything that takes a key that I just found this key for? Hmm, maybe this key is for later. Oh, I found, I found, um, in the newspaper, it's talking about the clocks. Oh, what did I just do? It says, pendulum lock invented has three possible states. Lock on hmm. the desk. Oh, down here. Oh, I opened something. Does it work here too? Oh, it does. Okay, I opened two things. What did you open? These two cabinets in the desk and we got oh. a hat, which I think there's something weird about this hat. I found one. another hat when I, that was the first thing I picked up, but I threw it. Oh, there's something on the inside. What does that say? Wood? Edgewood attire? Mine just says wood in it. There's like a little, um, oh, never mind. There was a token covering it. I just found a secret token. Oh, I um, found a token too. It does say Edgewood attire. Let's look in here. We've got books. I, I don't want to read all this. Are we serious about this reading? I don't know about this. Let's check this one out. Does this have anything to do with anything? One, two, three. Seven. In each book, there's um, a different number of books at the top. There's big, there's big paragraphs that I'm not reading, but one book has seven books at the top. Another has four. And this other mm -hmm. one has um, also seven. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is book three has seven. Book two has four and book four has seven. So it'd be Two seven seven, or I mean four seven seven. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Do you think that has to do with anything like the time? Maybe it is. I don't know, cause look at the times on here. There. Oh, the lock on the desk. Maybe that could have to do with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're missing book that... one though. That is what I'm concluding from this. Is if we find the first book, then I think we use the number inside as like maybe the combination. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, what about this cabinet? What the hell is this? Oh, you know about this psychology type stuff. What is it? Pick that up. Oh, it's the um, the test. Like, what do you see in this ink blot? Yes. Oh, here's book one. I found book one. It says four. Okay. So maybe four, four, seven, seven. I don't know. I'm going to try this combination on the left. See if we get anything in here. Four. Oh, on this test, on this test, uh -huh. it says nobody will find my safe. Oh, well, we'll see about that because I just unlocked this thing right here. Oh, and there we've got more ink blots in there. Wait, I'm gonna try this lock, see if it's the same combination. No, okay, so this other lock has a different combination. Oh, look at blue books. Okay, honestly, I have too much shit in my inventory. I'm getting rid of this. Look at this. Oh, what is this? This is quite scary. Maybe there's something on it. Oh, there's a bunch of numbers. Oh, you can push in the numbers on its, on its head. Well, you look at that. So I'm gonna our check guy out these studied books. the the head. Seems like he might have been a psychologist. No, it says phrenology. Oh, he literally studied the head. Is this just the same book over and over? Oh, it is. I've got three copies of the same book in my inventory. Okay, so it looks like the blue books probably don't do anything because it's just the same book. I'm guessing this is this guy's name, Edwin Drood. What about this family photo? Who took that? Oh, try the year, Jen. That's actually such a good idea. Let's see. 1970. Okay, let's try that. One. Look. Five. What was behind the, the picture? Mm, that did not work. What was behind the picture? <gasps> oh. It's a safe. It's a safe he said we'd never find. We found it. <laughs> so we found it. It's a three number combination. So you've got to find, oh, which is these ink blots, definitely. I think you have one of them and I have the other two. It says the same thing, it's just different symbols. I'm wondering like- Yeah, what's your symbol? Oh, this one looks like a two. This looks like a two yeah. back to back, which is number one. And then yeah. my number three looks like a five back to back. What about your number two? Um, nine, so it's two, nine, three. I think it's two, nine, two, nine, five. Two, nine, five. Okay. Yeah, try that. Did it work? <gasps> oh! What's in there? It must be good. Memoriam. And I found a locket. I'm gonna take a look inside here. It says, a, phren oh. a phrenological exam of the patient's head revealed the following. 
The patient embodies a strong understanding of melody and language. Unfortunately, that is where my praise ends. A love of notoriety combined with a complete lack of benevolence is a bad omen. More importantly, the examination suggests a combative personality with a habit of destructive behavior. This confirms my doubts. That's what's in your safe. Yeah, and then the other thing is this locket that just has a picture of him and his wife in there. And it says love maybe on the other side. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's about her. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, he didn't want us to find that. I'm sorry, but the tea is cold. Mm, yeah. I'm going to break his vases now. Okay. We still have three minutes left to get um, a trophy. Oh, let's get a hint. Oh, I think it's saying that something's in the newspaper. Do you still have that newspaper? This is the clock thing. Pendulum lock invented has three possible states. Okay. So it's a lock, but it's it, the font's too small. Oh, here, I'm, I'm looking now. Yeah. Okay, so there's one in the middle. One, oh, okay, I think I know how to do it. Let's see. So okay. we put one like in the middle. This one can go here. And this one can go like that, I think. That's literally what it, the picture was. Are we supposed to do it at a certain time though? Maybe put the hat and glasses on the head. That could be a good idea. I'm getting another I feel another like hint. we're doing it right. I don't. I know. All right, it's telling us what to do, but I swear we did this. I think it means the times. How do we change the times though? Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay, okay. I get what you're saying. Okay, wait. So this one. That's what I thought it meant. The actual like time on the clock. I didn't even notice the actual time on the clock was any different. There we go. Oh. Let's go. Okay, so I got a piece of paper here. It says, oh, we have to do an intellectual assignment. Can we look at it at the same time? Can you see it? So the odd one out is obviously the snake, which is two. One, mm -hmm. two, four, eight, 16, 32. So C. And then which cube matches the unfolded? Oh my God, this is like some IQ test. No. It's not four, so it's three. Okay, so three. two, C, three? Okay, I don't know what that means that for though i don't know oh someone was saying maybe 232 three <gasps> we got it oh my god we are so fucking smart i can't even believe it all right what's in here a book oh so this is definitely like the fi one of the final puzzles which is has to do with that head statue that we have oh and maybe oh it has to do with that note that you got out of the safe because didn't mm -hmm. he describe her with all of these like words yes Okay, so maybe so, you look at that and I'll look at this, okay? She has a strong understanding of melody and language. So musical talent, which is six, and verbal talent is three. Notoriety, a love of notoriety. Love of notoriety is five. A lack of benevolence. A lack of benevolence? Benevolence, does that mean she, we wouldn't put that in then? Because benevolence is eight, but if she doesn't have it, then do we not put that in? I don't know. Yeah. I guess not. A combative personality. Okay, that's nine. And destructive behavior. Which is also nine, it's under the same one. So let's put the head out and try, let's try three, five, six, and nine. Three, three five, five, and then six. six and nine. <gasps> it, yeah, worked. it worked! I got the key. Is that the final key? Did we do it? I don't know, let's see. We ran out of time, but I feel like we did this one fast. Yes! yes! Let's go! Let's go! W's in the chat. We never take L's here. We never take L's here on twitch.tv slash Jenna McAllister. Never L's, only W's. Woo! I'm celebrating this with them. This fun. We should play again soon. Yeah, we should play again soon. I had a good time. All right, well, thanks for being on, on the, the Twitch stream tonight. Oh, of course, no problem, anytime. <gasps> the silence. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Honestly, I had no idea what to expect because I just found this tonight and I thought it looked like fun. And you know what? It ended up being really fun. I had a really good time. If you guys like this, I will totally stream it again sometime. Maybe we'll do with Rachel again. Maybe we'll try with Jenna and the men. Guys, could you imagine me, Ricky and Jacob trying to play this game? I would be the only one I would be carrying the team on my back. Ricky editing this right now is shaking. I will get a text about it later. Okay, well, listen, um, thank you guys so much for watching this and I will see you next time. Bye.